it almost feel like a dream. The feelings, the senses, the emotions that I have never ever felt before. I was a 16 year old boy who came from a small town where everybody knew each other and the days were almost identical, waking up every morning and having the same routine, the same old story. Now I lived in a country that, that shattered by war and conflict and I had no idea what the world had to offer. There was no future whatsoever. Eventually, I reached a point where I, I was just hoping the days would go by. In October 2016, I told myself enough is enough. I took a very unknown step of my life. I traveled to Turkey in the hope that I would, I would find, my, find myself alive, worth living. Although it, it was one of the scariest days of my life, it was also one of the saddest moments having, having to live my beloved parents and my siblings. My mother tears made extremely difficult for me. And deep down, I knew this could be one of the worst nightmare. Nevertheless, it could be one, one of the best decisions I have ever made. The plane was ready and it was time to take off. I kissed my mother forehead and left Iraq. I did not have a clue what I was doing. I just had hopes. Arriving in Turkey airport and bo boarding the airplane for the first time was very scary for me. I was sitting alone and I kept thinking about what the future might hold for me. I was thinking about all the risks before I would arrive in a safe country, which will provide me with the opportunities to achieve my dreams. I heard many stories of people being killed on the way or passing away because of starvation and coldness. Thinking about this, those horrible stories made, made me feel terrified and devastated. Feeling tired on a long flight, I closed my eyes and suddenly all, all my memories crossed my mind. I remembered the days when I used to come back late from school and found my mother waiting anxiously and worried about my safety. I remember the, the family gathering and delicious picnics on, on a big farm for the Nero celebration. I feel that it would be a very long time before these things could happen again. Or maybe they, they would never happen in my life again. The thought of not seeing my mother again f frightened me. After I arrived in Turkey, I, I had to find a way to, to go to Greece. I knew, I knew I had to stay determined in order to get to Greece successfully. I tried five different ways and every time I got a deport, but on my sixth attempt, I was successful. I was in prison in Greece. I could not see or hear anything from outside world. I felt more isolated than ever. I, I remember one day um, when I was in prison in Greece, I heard heavy rain hitting the window. It was very soothing and it made me feel extremely happy. It reminded me of my dad who used to feel happy with the rain as it meant he would have a good crop. At that very moment, I feel that rain washed all my sad sadness. I remembered when my dad used to say to me to be happy and optimistic, no matter what's happening in your life. Another memory that I still have is um, of the three hour journey from Cali to the UK in, in a freezing lorry. Every time I watch the, the film that I took with, with my mo mobile phone, while I was in, in a tiny corner in a lorry, I, I feel terrified and I wonder how I survived in, in that life uh, threatening experience, being enclosed in freezing lorry, unable to get out or even move. This journey had a huge impact on me. I have grown to be a, th a third person and I have learned how to be undefeated in life. 
here I am now, having survived all the odds, passing, passed through all the saddest moments in my life, looking forward to a bright and successful future.